right, so here we are. Hello, hello, and good evening. I've got a pile of goodies and a collage to make. Today is day 13. Lucky 13. Let's see what we come up with today. I wanted to build a whole body. When I started picking out things I liked, they were too big uh, for the page to make a full body. So what I decided was to make a face. So I've got, there's a nose here. And there's uh, some lips there. I've got a couple of choices here. Just gonna move stuff off the side. Um, that's not gonna work because I was that's for when I was building the person. So I'll that put that with my person stuff. I've already chosen words. I found them yesterday when I was searching in the big box for something specific for yesterday's collage, and that's kind of what inspired me to make uh, this one today. So that's gonna for sure be the words. Um, here's another nose. So I think that's two noses. Yeah. Two nose choices. I've got those lips. I still have the one big eyeball. Um, I've got this pair of lips. And then uh, I seem to have lost a pair of lips, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I keep dropping stuff on the floor. That's from a cutout. Still trying to use the one. But, you know, I might save this for kind of a Cyclops thing. We'll see. But I'm still trying to use it, find the right place for it, where it wants to be. These lips. I've got this. Um, eye, which is more of a characterization. I have this one with the eye piercings that I really like. I've got these lips, and I do have another pair of lips somewhere. I don't know where they went. Probably on the floor. So, um, but I also have these kind of the, the, in the same line as the as this eye. Um, these are it's made with actual lipstick, just you know squiggled. Um, so I have her, and she's just got a mass of hair. Um, and her face is kind of covered up up here. So I thought um, this, uh, when I decided I didn't have enough room to do a whole body at the scale of the items I was picking out, I decided to go with this. So I'm going to trim it down it just a smidge. It only hangs over a little bit. And I'll have to find something to put over here so there will be a little something extra on the page. But today it's mostly just about making a face. Um, there's going to be a little bit of white space, but I'm going to be okay with that. Um, I'll probably just trim this down actually to have white space all the way around. So I'll just need to take a smidge off this side and I will get to work on this. I will ink the edges and I'll glue her down and then I'll work on top of that. Um, I may come back um, and work, uh, do the work on camera depending, but I need to get myself a drink of water and go ahead and do this basic first step that's kind of boring and that you don't need to watch. So I shall return shortly. All right, I'm back. It's glued down. It's edged. Let's make a face. So I did find uh, one of the other lips. I still can't find the one other lips. I don't know where they went. Good news, I won't have to put anything over here because we cut that part off. All right. So. Unless I want to give her one big cyclops eye, and that is an option. I can I can taper that down a little bit. But I really want to use I really wanted to use this. So let's round this up a little bit. Let's not make it a big square. Let's let's at least try and do something with this, right? Uh, just make it an eye ish shape. Okay, so we'll throw that in the trash. So Cyclops eye remains an option. Let's cut out these lips. nothing technically wrong with her lips. It's just fun to play with the lips. Okay, so there's those lips, those lips. I don't really like those lips on her face. There's those lips. We can always find more lips. This is the other eyeball I was looking at. So let's taper this up just a smidge. Maybe not a complete point, right? I'm having an issue. Okay. So let's just scooch those all right off the page there. Okay, her lip goes like that. Okay. 
Okay. I don't really need noses, technically. She's got a nose on there visible. But we can play with this. I've got a guy nose, which kind of changes the picture, right? Because we'd have to cut this off right here. And then put the lips over here. I do have a straightforward girl nose, which would kind of blend in with her. I think maybe we'll just leave her nose the way it is. And we'll pick some lips, right? So, I really do want to use the pierced eyeball, but I, I kind of like the Cyclops thing. Okay, so we may go with that. And then maybe we can find a couple other things to put in her hair. But I'm kind of liking this, so I'm going to edge those. I'm going to edge that and let's trim this up to a, so it's like a little point on both sides instead of. There we go. So let's just take that little part off. Give her a Cyclops eyeball. Some fun new lips. I may find other lips. I'm not 100% satisfied with those lips, but I think that may be what happens. So since that's pretty boring, maybe we we'll want to sprinkle some stuff in her hair. I shall return. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. We're going to finish this video up. Well, we're going to finish this collage up. So this is kind of the arrangement I decided on. Um, I know I had that big blue piece out, and I don't know where it went now. Here it is. I just, I didn't like the look of it on this face for whatever reason. It just wasn't working for me. So I put it back, and I found this eye, which I really like. So we're, let's go ahead and put that on. Most of uh, all of these pieces have kind of been inked up. I've been playing this with this for a couple of hours now, trying to figure out what I liked best. And uh, this is kind of, I went through a lot of eyes. I sorted through a lot of images. And this is the one that I felt like I liked the best. So there's that. Let's go ahead and nail this butterfly down. That right there. I kind of like him like right on that curl right there. I'll go up right there. And we'll do the circle and the chest piece. Sometimes I kind of have my own personal story about these pieces that I don't always share with them because some of it's, you know, personal stuff. But uh, I just felt like these pieces wanted to be here. They felt right with the word I ha already came across that I, I know just needs to be on here. So... Get all these smoothed down. Let's get this butterfly over here into that little curl right there. I like it right there. That little ringy curl right there. Just kind of resting on that curl. All right, I'm gonna put this bird kind of right here. Where this curl goes like that right there almost a little bit like a necklace or a pendant, some kind of ornament for her. But whatever speaks to me in this collage might not speak to somebody else, or, you know, the message that they get from it or what they take away from it could be totally different from what I th am thinking, you know? Everything that's artistic is very sub subjective. And, uh... We all get to kind of pick and choose what we like and what kind of meaning or 
if we find any meaning in it at all. Some things are just for fun. But yeah, I have spent quite a bit of time on this. What I told myself, oh, this will be quick and easy. No. I think it's because she has so much hair. I kind of want him perched because her shoulder's right there. So that's kind of what I'm going for. Now I know he's going to get cut off. And I'm actually going to cut him off at the edge of the page instead of at the edge of the box. I'm going to let him and this piece up here kind of go a little bit outside of the... So that's all done. I might still use uh, this piece here. I don't know. But... Let's get our words on this thing. not actually trimming this up very well. It's kind of annoying me a little bit. The silence is all about me trying to get this word trimmed up so that I can use it. This phrase. Oh, silly. Let's go ahead and ink that up real quick. Just letting you get a full view of the Let's go with the theory that I want you to soak in the collage. Now when I say it took me a lot of time, that's not to mean that I didn't have fun with it. Because I love sorting through the images and finding, you know, the maybes and deciding what really works or how I feel about a particular collage. I like all her hair. That is a lot of hair. Um, and this is another one. I know I keep saying this. When, I suppose it could be if at this point, I get my Posca pens, um, then I'm going to I'll probably come back in and do a little doodling on here. Maybe outline some of the curls and ringlets or some dots and dashes in there. Just something to give it a little snap. And then I'll, you know, I'll post those pictures on Instagram and on, in the group. Uh, you know, I realize there's not a link to my Facebook group in, in uh, my new, in my description box, so I will try and remember, and if I don't remember today, then it'll start being on the future ones. So, uh, let's trim the parrot off and get a look at how this looks full. I'll, I'll, go, I'll ink the edges off camera, you don't need to watch me ink the edges. Everybody knows what that involves. We'll, we'll all ink up the edges here and we've got a little lift on this one corner so let's take care of that. And test the other corners. They all seem to be down well. So I won't say it's my favorite one in the bunch but I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. She's got a little cyclops eye there and I would doodle it and maybe put some dots up here so you know, it's complete, but it's not complete. Because I still have kind of ideas about it. And if I find other things, you know, down the line where I'm like, oh, that might that would be really good on that collage. So she's got a parrot on her shoulder, and she's got her one eye. Maybe it's her third eye. I don't know. But I feel I'm, I'm happy with this. I like the phrase. Um, but yeah, definitely some doodling, I, I think, needs to go on here. And I may find, you know, maybe I'll find another. Right now, I don't have that many butterfly images. And I don't have the money to spend on getting some from, you know, some ephemera pieces. I really like the Tim Holtz ones, but it's just not in the books at the moment. Um, so maybe I'll find in other magazines as I continue to harvest, I'll find a few other small butterflies that I can kind of put in her hair here. So that's what we've got for today. Um, this is day 13 collage. Um, I am what I make up. And that's that. 
So however you are spending your days and nights, I wish you great joy and happiness. Um, this video will be out in the morning, so uh, it'll come out Monday morning-ish, probably very early. Um, I have a live scheduled on Monday. Um, let me let me think about what day that is. Maybe I'll just look at my computer. I had a game up that I've been playing. Um, that's going to be Monday the 20th at 6 p.m. I'll be live. And uh, it's just kind of a chat thing. Um, I'll maybe sorting some magazine images for stuff. Because I like the collages to tell a story or I'll, I have ideas for some things. Like, uh, you know, I still want to build a whole person. Just because I only built a face today doesn't mean I'm not going to eventually build a person. Probably not on the adjacent page. Um, I may do um, the little old lady who lived in the shoe if I can find the right elements um, in the next week. Uh, that may be, Maybe that's what we'll work on on Wednesday. I think Wednesday is the day I picked to do my collage live. So yeah, tomorrow or Monday the 20th at 6 p.m. I'll be live and that's just attached to chat session. Hour, hour and a half tops. Uh, probably be sorting some magazine images. Um, just stop by if you'd like to have a chat. Um, I don't know if I said that about the days and nights. You know, I wish you, I, <laughs> let's see. However you're spending your days and nights, I hope it brings you great joy and happiness. Each and every one of you deserve it. Um, until I see you in one of my lives or in a box somewhere, I wish you the happiest of crafting. Bye, 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 bye.